Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad. Wa ala ali wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma bada habita fillah. From the prophetic wisdom. Is that a person is upon the religion of their companions. Meaning that a person should take righteous companions. If you take companions which do haram more than likely you will be involved in haram or you will be witnessing haram. If you take good companions, those who call you to kitab Allah wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, those who remind you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you will be in righteous companionship and more than likely be involved in righteousness. Listen to this hadith of the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam. Wa nabi Hurayrata radiyallahu ta'ala anhu anna nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qal al rajulu ala deen al khalilihi ala deen khalilihi fil yandr ahadakum man yukhalil ruahu abu Dawood wa tirmidhi بإسناد صحيح وقال الترمذي حديث حسن إن حديث أبو هريرة رضي الله عنه The messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم said A person is upon the religion of their companion So look to those who you take companion seek companionship from or have as companions. In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it shows us the importance of having righteous companions, righteous company. Many people don't understand the importance of this and why Ahl Sunnah strives to be with Ahl Sunnah. That doesn't mean it's always going to be perfect that everyone, you may be someone who's a non-Muslim, non-Muslim family members, non-Muslim uh, ex-companions, but you are not involved in the things that are negative or muharram that they're involved in. Likewise, we see the importance of why Ahl Sunnah stays with Ahl Sunnah and not with Ahl Bid'ah. Because when you're with Ahl Bid'ah, it's easy to fall into Shubahat and, and be attached to them. For example, what about the people who, maybe they're Salafi, they're from Ahl Sunnah, but yet they have companions who are Tekfiris, who always speak about the Hukuma, always speak about the government, or always uh, immerse themselves with Ahl Bid'ah. They're from Jamaat Tabliq and they go and make Khuruj, or they're from Jamaat Ikhwan Muslimin, or this, uh, this Jamaat, or this sect. What will happen? In the case of being with the Tikfiri, you will either be influenced by their behavior or you will command the good and forbid the evil and refute their behavior and refute their, their call and their da'wah. And eventually they will depart from you or one of you will be like the other. Another danger with this is when you are with extremist people who... believe groups like ISIS or other groups, other Takfiri groups, other groups from Ahl Bid'ah, other groups that believe in the sword, that perhaps you'll be under the microscope and the scrutiny of the intelligence agencies from your country, whether it's Muslim or non-Muslim, because you've, you're associated now with those Takfiris. You're associated now with those Hizbis. You're associated now with those people who encourage bloodshed and terror. So this shows us the wisdom that the Prophet ﷺ said, Amari ala deen khalili, that a person is on the religion of their companions. So look to those who you take as companions. 
And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with righteous companions and bless us with righteous spouses. Because likewise, a person can have a spouse who's leaned towards this jama'ah or leans towards that jama'ah and leads away from Ahl Sunnah. And this can also be a danger and destruction of a family. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.